Okay, so this is a little video I wanted to make and a talk about the election. So I could basically call this um, tune in and opt out. If you're uh, tuned in to the all the electric the uh, <laughs> the election coverage and you're as disappointed as I am in the election and all the candidates, uh, I wanted to I was kind of prompted um, for different reasons to make this video to tell people to uh, not forget to vote because it's still uh, it's still our right to vote. And if you're like me and you've had enough of uh, the election process, especially in 2016 because of all the candidates, as I just said, all the candidates are so poor. You know, you have, of course, Hillary Clinton tied to her husband, Bill Clinton, and you have Donald Trump, of course, larger than life. And even, let's throw in there, uh, the libertarian candidate of Gary Johnson. So, as I started to top the list, we have Hillary Clinton. And with all the election coverage and all the uh, bad news, I want to call it, uh, it is in the, in the court of public opinion. So, I've come to uh, draw my own conclusions as you probably have too. And uh, getting onto YouTube, of course, you're speaking to anybody and everybody, but maybe especially to those who feel that there is no good candidate. And a lot of times I get people, uh, you get some people telling you, hey, you're too negative and, uh, you know, uh, you're just, you're, you're, it's a cop out. Well, it's, I don't think it's a cop out. It's an opt out. It's a, go to the polls, go to the voting booth, and opt out. Um, one of the things that prompted me to make this little commentary here is that uh, I've worked as a stock worker, uh, a stock guy, uh, you know, in a grocery store for 26 years. So, you know, that's obviously part of the labor m movement. Um, and uh, I can tell you that for various reasons, I am not very pro-union. Yes, there are good things about the unions, and they have their faults too, but I stuck with uh, a grocery job position, so that is on me as well. I could quit, but I have chose not to uh, because I don't have anything better. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is, is that I accept that when you take that job, it is union oriented. So having said that, what prompted me to, one of the big things that prompted me to make this commentary was I got a call uh, urging me to vote for Hillary Clinton because that's who the labor movement is pushing. Uh, so it's interesting because I wanted to uh, make a discussion or a few points that the candidates are so poor, starting with Hillary Clinton, and I've drawn my conclusions about her and all the other candidates and the election. It is in the, in the court of public opinion, and as far as I'm concerned, Hillary Clinton is part of the Clintons. Her and Bill are criminals. Uh, he is an alleged rapist, and I believe that is accurate. Uh, Hillary is an enabler of him, and uh, I've drawn my own conclusions that I, uh, that I believe he is a, a rapist. It's been alleged I think he is, and I think she has run uh, uh, interference for him against these women. Um, that's what I wanted to tell the caller that said, that was urging me to vote for the Clintons, but I didn't go into it. I told him when he said, who are you voting for? I said, I'm going to the polls, believe it or not, and I am voting for nobody or none of the above, which some different people have come up with that idea before, and I think it's a good one. Then you have Donald Trump. Uh, he's alleged by some of these women that have come out now. They've just come out, it seems like, or one was a year and a half ago. 
And uh, I don't condone that either. If these women are telling the truth that he groped them and so forth, well, that's not good either. Uh, I kind of think uh, it could be bogus, but you never know. These women could be telling the truth. And if they are, uh, I don't think, I think obviously that's bad too. And, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, Trump has had some things going for him, but he's not on the ball enough to bring it to to fruition. Uh, and uh, let's then, then go to Gary Johnson. You could spend more time on Trump because uh, he's just, I think, uh, obviously, he, like I say, he has some good things going for him, but he has screwed it up monumentally himself, too. Let's now go to Gary Johnson. Uh, I'm a libertarian-minded person who is a Ron Paul supporter. Uh, but Gary Johnson, when you look into him just a little bit, as some other people have brought up, um, among others probably InfoWars has brought this up, Alex Jones, and I'm not saying that I'm always totally Alex Jones because he has his faults too. But just the way Gary Johnson has been acting, uh, I think the guy is, a, is a, kind of a nut job, a fruitcake. Yeah, he was the governor, uh, once, one-time governor. I, I think it was one term. I'm not sure. I'm just a casual uh, researcher, nobody brilliant. But I think he was at least a one-time governor of New Mexico. Thought the guy had something on the ball, but the way he's acting, uh, he's just acting ridiculous, like the guy has smoked too much pot. And, you know, it's ironic because I think drugs should be legalized, but anytime you're talking about a dangerous substance, if people don't understand that when it's brought up about legalizing drugs, it's brought up to decriminalize them. It doesn't mean there's, there shouldn't be restrictions on them because there should. Gary Johnson is showing to me that pot has affected his brain. And just because you advocate legalizing drugs doesn't mean it's, it's that you're advocating addiction. So even if drugs were to be legalized, just like alcohol, there should be extreme restrictions on them because just because people's habits are illegalized does not give them the right to screw you over or harm you in any way. And Gary Johnson uh, clearly uh, is showing on TV in these interviews that I think something's wrong with him. He's a pseudo-libertarian. He's posing as one. Don't, I don't really believe he is one. And furthermore, when he talks about the Fed... He said he claims that the Fed is a uh, public. It's owned by us, the public. Um, that we own the Fed, uh, as if we all have shares in it or something. This is false. We don't own the Fed. The Fed is something that has trampled on us. And so, those are some quick summaries of all three candidates. And I threw in Bill uh, Clinton along with Hillary because they're tied at the hip. So. To move on uh, more to the opt-out of uh, voting, to go and vote and vote for, write in none of the above, I think is a thing to do 